So I think I'm going to go with the most important question up front, if you don't mind. What is it like walking into the studio at Warner Brothers and Legendary and saying, listen, I want to make these Dune movies, but we're going to need to fly to the other side of the galaxy because I am convinced you flew there to make <laughs> these movies. It's it's uh, it's uh, uh, that feeling comes from the fact that I think we went into the real environments. Re I, we spent so much time in, in the real desert with my crew, and I'm very, very grateful that the boat studios agreed to that strategy, and that my crew had the uh, the patience and the generosity to endure the harsh heat and and harsh conditions because it was not phys it physically it was very demanding for the crew to be. Uh, we went in the real deal, yeah. No, and, and th those locations really make you believe but so being serious um, my I actually have one complaint about the movie and I want to address it with you which is I wanted like the four hour version and so like this 235 bullshit is not acceptable it needs to be longer everyone can laugh but I'm not joking around like so Mike I know you must have deleted scenes but actually before I get into that what was it like at the studio in terms of, because there's been a lot of recent movies that are three hours, three and a half hours. Did you guys ever consider a longer version? How did you get to the runtime that you got to? I, I, I uh, the runtime of a movie, movie. I, there's no, for me, the, the length of the movie is based on what the story needs. And, and uh, sometimes I've made movies in my life that were 75 minutes, and, and this one is two hours 45, I think, uh, uh, something like that. And it, it's it's not, a, 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 for me, the runtime, it's about the storytelling. And I felt that I wanted to create a momentum, I wanted an energy in the movie that I was looking for that excited me. And 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 uh, 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 I thought that was the perfect runtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sir, That uh, you know, for a lot of people though, they want a two hour movie. They, like a lot of people want a shorter movie, but for people like me, uh, I I mean, I wanted to, I, I loved living in this world and I uh, want to yeah, see more. I see that as a compliment, but I will say this. It's, it's uh, for me, no matter what is the length, the physical length, the, 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 the run, running time is always the experience as you, you're watching the movie and how, how, what, how, how you feel. You can be bored by the five minute movie, okay? So, I mean, if, if sure. it's a, and, and there are some movie, we know some of them that are three or four hours that you could uh, live there forever. And, and so it's like, you have just to find the perfect running time. So that's what I was, I tried to do. So my question is, I know you have deleted scenes in the first and I'm sure in the second. Will I ever see them? Will you put them on a Blu-ray? Is there an ultimate box set coming at some point. I mean, I, I'm a strong believer that when it's not in the movie, it's dead. I and, and I kill darlings and it it's painful for me. Sometimes I remove shots and I say, I cannot believe I'm cutting this out. And it's like, a, I, I feel like a samurai with the, uh, uh, opening my guts and, and I, 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 it's painful. So I, I cannot go back and after that and, and uh, create a Frankenstein and trying to reanimate things that I killed. You know, it's like, uh, it, it's too painful. It's like, uh, when it's dead, it's dead and it's dead for a reason. And, and, and uh, but yes, it is a painful project, it, but it is my job. I'm, I, the movie prevails. I, I'm a very, I think uh, uh, severe in the editing room. Uh, 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 I'm not thinking about my ego. I'm thinking about the movie. Sure. If you ever want to show any deleted scenes to someone like named Steve, <laughs> you, you, you let I me know. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> right, so listen, uh, and before I run out of time, I have to ask you, I, I love these movies so much. And I know you've talked about, you know, doing a third. I have to ask you, are you assuming Warner Brothers and Legendary say, because they're going to say they want you to make another because this is going to be a huge hit. Do you want to go like right back into this world like the way you've just done it with Dune 2? Do you want to take a break? Like, what are you thinking? The thing is that part one and part two were designed to be meant back to back. It was important for me to, to it was like a, a, the adaptation of that book. So I wanted to make them uh, as soon as, as we decided to make part two, which honestly was uh, very early uh, as I was finishing part one, I knew the studio was in love with the movie. That's what ended. I heard from some people uh, directly uh, in my ear, you're gonna make part two, don't worry, no matter what happened, we are going forward, we love it too much. So it's, it was like, I wasn't working on part two uh, very early and, and uh, I had to make them uh, back to back. Now, 
there's a part I, I I just want to make sure that if we do Dune Messiah, that we have the best screenplay on the table. And for that, I want to take the time to do it. And I think it will be healthy uh, that I don't go back necessarily in the desert right away, that I make a little detour, maybe. But honestly, I don't know what is my future right now, which I love because I, I, I worked uh, uh, the past six years nonstop. Uh, it's a blessing, but I need that. It would be nice to just like to make sure that if we do Dune Messiah, that we do the, the I want to make the best movie ever. So I, I want to just take my time. Is it one of these things where, so you haven't even started writing the script. It's still- No, it, no, it, it isn't the, the right, we are working on it right now. Oh, okay, so it's like, uh, I'm just, I have so many, oh my God. So I think about uh, all you, this, these two movies have such incredible stuff in them. What was the sequence or scene that really kept you up at night before filming? Whether, maybe it's the sandworms, maybe, I, I'm just curious, what's the shot, I, I you know what I mean? It's a kind of movie where there's a, in, there's a every day, both movies had that in common, part one and part two, they both had uh, in common that it was a daily on a daily basis. There was a challenge. There was there was no days where it was easy because there was always something about the sets, about the acting, or, or that. Uh, 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 but uh, um, so it's a difficult question to answer. <laughs> okay, well um, I'll, I'll switch. Um, the Paul on the sandworm is such an iconic s scene in the movie, and it's something that people have been, you know. Uh, so excited to see. What is it like? Because it's one thing to read it on the page and it's another thing to put it on the screen. So can you sort of take me through putting that together and what really went on? Because it, it looks so fantastic. In yeah, the it was a journey. And that's what was it. It is. It was. Uh, it's still one of my favorite scene. It was one, one of my most important. If you said to me, you, uh, what, what, uh, which scene we would have done if there was no, I would have done that scene. You know, it's like, it's it's a, a, a so cinematic idea. And uh, on the page, as you read, it's Paul and Paul writes the worm. And, and then you're like, okay, uh, there's no really description in the book how, how Paul can can get onto a worm. And so, so I had to figure out to to invent, to create, uh, the technique that the Fremen uh, uh, used to get onto a worm, and uh, uh, then to to I remember drawings, making a strat uh, to, to explain to my crew the strategy of, of the Fremen and the technique and the the, the owl uh, uh, to get uh, uh, onto a worm, how to ride a worm, and once uh, uh, I did that, I had also all done the storyboards to tell the story, of course, and then uh, I explained to them how technically we will achieve that. And uh, I wanted it to look as real, as dangerous as possible. And I want to feel the speed and I wanted to feel the danger and, and uh, the technical approach I, I wanted uh, was uh, very complex and uh, required a lot of time. So uh, uh, it, it was like a, 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 a quite a challenge to, to bring that to the screen. Sir, thank you for creating another fucking incredible movie. Uh, have a fantastic day. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you. For Listen, man.